Excel spreadsheet skills. This video will show you how to use basic formulas, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So I have my ski holiday budget here. Now all of these costs at the moment have just been written in. And it can cause mistakes such as, let's say the accommodation went up to £320. I may forget to update this total and that may up and then that total is, is incorrect. What I can do is add formulas to help with this. I'm just going to delete all of this here. Delete all my totals. And have a completely blank total section. I can do the I can let the spreadsheet automatically work out my costs without me having to do it for myself. For example, total costs. If I know the airfare is ninety nine pound and I need to buy one ticket, this may be a return ticket. I can use a formula to work this out for me. Now obviously it's gonna be ninety nine pounds, but if it was to change, I want the spreadsheet to do the hard work for me not myself not me having to do it so a formula starts with an equal sign the first one is b4 so i can click or type in b4 there i'm going to times times is represented by a asterisk and then c4 here so it's b4 times c4 as you can see it's got 99 pounds now the the advantage of using a formula is if I t if the airfare went up and I had to change it to 105 pounds and push enter the total cost would automatically increase again if I had someone else to go as well I could change that to 2 push enter and the total cost would automatically increase so again if we do equals this time it's going to be b5 times C5. And you could just carry on doing this all the way to the bottom. However, we can make it even quicker by using this little drag down box here. Now, what this does when you drag it down, it automatically copies the formula and replicates it down. And because these are relative to the cell is it's a relative cell reference when you move it down as you can see at the top it automatically changes the cell to the next row down saving you time again at the bottom i could type in my budget maybe 600 pounds and the balance would be the budget minus the total now I've not entered the total here yet so it's just going to say 600 but here I can do two things I could do the quick way of using a function which will be in another video or I could do the slightly longer way and not recommended for now just adding them all up together as I said I don't recommend you do this because it's going to take you longer to add up more numbers have a look at the formula, so the function video later on, on how to do this quicker. So, just to recap, you can do equals one cell minus another cell. You can do equals one cell times another cell. You can add multiple cells together and to divide we will do a forward slash and that's how we'd use simple formulas